In today's video, we are going to talk about calculating the curl of a vector field. The curl is written as del cross A, where A is a vector field. It should be noted that the result of this calculation will be a vector, which differs from the divergence, where the result is a scalar. It turns out that calculating the curl is essentially the same steps as calculating the divergence. We just use a different set of equations. The specific equation, again, depends entirely on the coordinate system we work with. Notice that these equations are more complicated, as we are really taking the determinant of a very unusual looking matrix. In most cases, you'll be able to look these equations up. Let's apply this idea to an example and establish a systematic routine for calculating the curl. The first step is to identify the coordinate system. Looking at the given vector field, the lowercase r hat and phi hat make it apparent that we are working in cylindrical coordinates. The equation for cylindrical coordinates is copied here for our reference. The second step is to identify the r, phi, and z components of the vector field. I'll denote these as a sub r, a sub phi, and a sub z. We know Notice that there is no component for a sub z, so that component is zero. The final step is to apply the correct equation for our coordinate system. We are just following the equation and using knowledge from calculus 1 to compute partial derivatives. Let's rewrite these equations for cylindrical coordinates. Now let's look back at our identified components. The first thing we notice is that there is not an a sub z. Since that is true, any term involving a sub z is zero. We also notice that both of the other terms do not contain any z terms, so their partial derivative with respect to z is also zero. That means that the z hat component is the only part we will have left to calculate. Let's go ahead and calculate that. The partial derivative with respect to r of r squared sine phi is just 2r sine phi, and the partial derivative of 2r cosine phi with respect to phi is negative 2r sine phi. Taking the subtraction of these two terms and dividing by r, we get our answer, which is z hat for sine phi. To summarize, here are the steps to compute curl. One, identify the coordinate system. Two, identify the components. And three, apply the correct equation. These are just the same steps for calculating divergence, but for different equations. Thanks for watching. See you soon then.